There was no, no other. Michael was the first one and the only one. He's, he's amazing. He's, he's such a great person and, a, and an amazing, amazing, hardworking actor. So I was lucky to have him. Over the last 10 years, I've applied to the space program 12 times and I've been on the verge of giving up after each and every rejection. But you know what, sir? Here I am. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured, I'll be standing here again in a year. Who better to leave this planet and dive into the unknown than a migrant farm worker? Hi, Alejandro, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, congratulations on a very inspirational film. As always, Michael Peña delivers a great performance. It's a great story. And I think anyone of any stature can look at this story and be like, I can do it too. Was that the purpose of making this, this film about Jose Hernandez who went to, uh, into space after being rejected 11 times by NASA? Yeah, I, I think that was the idea. And, and, you know, to say that you have it in you, you have it in your origins, in, it's already in you. You just have to persevere and have a clear mind and, and an objective. And in this case, his teacher is the one that said, you can do whatever you want um, in this life. And, you know, like we say in Spanish, tenía mucho ánimo, you know, like he was determined to, to get it, to get this goal. Sí, pues es que when you feel it, you feel it. You know, you, you, you can't deny what you want. And I think that was a very important thing in Jose's life. Mm -hmm. um, so what was it like? Did you have Michael Peña in mind the whole time? Or, or did you have to go through a few? No, actors? there was no, no other. Michael <laughs> was the first one and the only one. He's... He's amazing. He's he's such a great person and, a, and an amazing, amazing, hardworking actor. So I was lucky to have him. Yeah, he played Cesar Chavez too. He directed that film. Um, he's, he's just so good in everything. He's underrated. <laughs> he's underrated, like see many Latinos in, in this industry. So I'd say it, it's his time. Um, and I love the, the cast. Rosa Salazar plays his wife, Adelita, and she's very supportive. But we also see like the, the pressures of taking on the whole family when he's gone. So it's very real, right? Because you, you, either you can be like the nagging wife or somebody who's fully supportive, but that's not very realistic, right? Because eventually it gets to you and she's tired of just taking care of the house when he's gone. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to portray the... Um existence of a, of a woman no in all its 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 lights i think um if you spend time with any with any woman you you can see that the, the female experience is 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 broad no it's it's just complicated and and complex so I, that's what i wanted to do with adelita no i didn't want to be shallow about it or just say, you know, she was the caring wife who, who supported him. It, it, it was her. She was the boosters on the rocket. Yeah, and I love how you portrayed the family too, because it's very realistic. Like their focus is traveling from town to town to work as fi uh, uh, migrant workers, farm workers. And they didn't even think their son could do it because they're just so focused on where is the money coming next, right? Yeah, and when that's your only option, I think you just, you know, automatically keep doing that and keep moving forward. And I think mm -hmm. that that ethic, that work ethic was very important for Jose, no? That, that um, spirit of adventure and uh, that, that sense of adaptation continuously, you know, being adapted to new things, to new, I think that's, that was the main thing that made him become what he became. And did you stick pretty close to his memoir or did you kind of fictionalize certain aspects of his life? It was, I, I would say it was both. I, I did uh, stay truth for the essence of the tale, you know, but, but of course you have to fictionalize things and you have to exaggerate some others <laughs> to make it exciting but it, it 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 was exciting from start so not much not much cheating okay 
Not much cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Movie making is all about cheating, right? It's all about cheating. Yeah. In a good way. In a good I'm way. <laughs> and I want to talk about Veronica Falcon, another underrated actor. She is another. so good. She's in another uh, movie as well. And I was like, she is so good. Why isn't she in more projects? <laughs> She's the most amazing. I mean, I, I, I have a beautiful cast. I can't complain. She, and she was one of my top. So. Well, beautiful film, a uh, very realistic portrayal of this, of this man who persevered and didn't stop. And it's a great story for everybody to watch, especially for kids who think they have no other avenue in life. You know, if you got the, the gusto, l'animo, do it. So I love that about totally. it. And you have it in you. You don't have to go look for it or exactly. become someone else. You have to be yourself. Así es. Bueno, muchas gracias and uh, congratulations. Gracias.